the Galloping Ghost Arcade is a free play arcade that opened back in 2010. We currently are the largest arcade in the world with uh, currently 833 games on the arcade floor. The concept for it initiated when we started looking around the arcade industry for our other company, Galloping Ghost Productions, and we were looking at places and how other how arcades were doing. We went to about 80 venues that had arcade games, uh, just traditional arcades and pool halls, bars, laundromats, any place that had arcade games, we were looking at them. And so many of them, the machines didn't work right. Either joysticks not working or buttons not working. And like in Chicago, we couldn't find a working Mortal Kombat machine. It was just outrageous for us as that was, this is Midway's hometown, so. Uh, that was kind of the concept, was to make an arcade that maintenance was a top priority, uh, having rare games was a top priority, and, and in 2010, that was when the Galloping Ghost Arcade opened, and going on 11 years, we just keep growing it, adding more and more games, doing big events, and as always, maintenance being a cornerstone of what we do, so everything we hope always plays great. So we opened the Galloping Ghost Arcade with 130 arcade machines. Back six years ago, we started our Monday Mystery Game, which every Monday, 5 p.m. Central, for six years, we've added a new game to the arcade floor without fail. We haven't missed one week in over six years. So that that's really kind of made the number keep going up and up and up. We never want to rotate cabinets off of the floor um, because so many of these games disappeared from gamers for decades and to kind of put it on the floor and then take it back away and that wasn't what we were all about. So one of the benefits of having Galloping Ghost Productions where we actually produce arcade games and video games is we've got so many connections within the industry and over the years a lot of them have helped us build up or reproduce or even donated to us a lot of one-of-one one prototypes that uh, people never knew existed. And you might not know that you're playing a one-of-a-kind piece uh, unless you do a little bit of research or ask somebody here, but there's well over a dozen one-of-a-kind games here. I, I absolutely love arcade cabinets and arcade gaming and the whole community and the culture behind it. I vividly remember playing Asteroids as the first arcade game that I ever played, uh, just in a, a restaurant one day when I was probably five years old. And just being out and seeing that super bright monitor, just, it was so unique to me. Uh, when I was 16, I purchased my first arcade machine for my house. Uh, it was NARC from Williams, and it was, played it so much in the arcades. It came out in 1988, and absolutely loved it. And it was so crazy to buy one for the house. I knew I wanted to work in the video game scene. I knew I wanted to design and create video games. It wasn't until a chance encounter with Ed Boon from NetherRealm that uh, kind of pushed me to open my own my own business. And he had he had said he's like, just being straight out, it's tough to get into this industry. And it just seemed like an an easier point of entry to me was to learn how to do everything myself rather than try to go get into this this company. So that that was the start of Galloping Ghost Productions. We have six businesses within Galloping Ghost. We've got the Galloping Ghost Garage, Galloping Ghost Arcade, Galloping Ghost Reproductions, Galloping Ghost Productions, Galloping Ghost Pinball, and the Galloping Ghost Gamma, which is our gym and martial arts school. So we have a few other plans in the future for new businesses that you will see on Ogden Avenue and in the hopefully not too distant future. Everything is, is within about a six block radius. So we. I've, I've lived in Brookfield my whole life, so I'm, I'm not one for traveling too far. I, I get here to the arcade at about six in the morning every single day, so I don't want to spend my time commuting somewhere, so Brookfield is home to us. For so many people thinking that arcades were dying off, since we've opened, we've helped 33 arcades open worldwide. We've really tried to share everything because we just want there to be more arcades out there. 
it's it's crazy how often we hear uh, in younger kids and even adults that it's their first time being in an actual arcade. And you can see, especially with uh, the younger younger players, that it doesn't have to be the best of graphics. And these games really have held up through the test of time to be just fun, good video games.